What a smoking gun does is it allows you to cold smoke something. Basically, this is where you want to get smoke flavor, but you don't want to imply heat. Smoking guns will cost you $100 plus. A miniature keyboard vacuum is around 20 bucks. With a tiny modification, we can turn this into a smoking gun. What you do need to do is you need to go to your local head shop and ask for one of these. This is what's called a bowl stem and it has this little clip on it where it clips on to a top of a pipe and you screw that in. It's a little clogged but I poked a hole in it. This is um, just a piece of rubber tube that I had around. We're gonna use this piece here, this little arm. I have no idea what this is for. I've never actually used one of these to dust a keyboard. I've only used it for culinary uses, so we're gonna need this little brush. Why are we gonna need this little brush? Because this is the part that affixes right in here. So all we gotta do is we're gonna take this off with our little friend, the hacksaw. And we're gonna saw the top of this guy off. Make sure your line is straight. And there we go. So now, you have a straight tube. So this top part is now gonna fit in the top of your gun there. And you're gonna basically force a thread as you can get it started by kind of creating a little divot and then you can soften it up just a tiny bit so you can roll it back in like this just so enough that we can create a thread. So I heated it and you see how I kind of rolled it on its side there to kind of create a little conical shape in. I'm gonna take this while it's still a little warm and we're gonna thread it. This part does require a little bit of gumption, and there you go. All you're gonna do is take this part now and slide it in there. So now we have this. There's suction coming out of here and there. Remember the little bendy arm thing? All you're gonna do is you're gonna take that and you're gonna slide it right in there. Take your hose right on top, and now you have a smoking gun. I have little oak chips here, little mini chips. I like oak because it's just a super neutral fire. You load the top, just like you load the top of any bowl. Don't even pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. You turn it on, you take a lighter, and see how the flame is drawing in? And there, ladies and gents, you have cold smoke. Run it first without using it on food. Uh, just so you can season the inside. That first little bit of smoke that comes out there is not the best tasting. So you want to smoke it, let it run for a little bit, and then you stick it in whenever you're smoking. If you'd like an example, we're going to do that now. We got some oysters. Anything you do, put it in there, cover it with some plastic wrap. I mean, you can use like, if you want, you can put something on the bottom and put a bowl over it, whatever you can use to contain the smoke. We're going to let that first little bit of smoke go. All you're going to do is you're going to put the corner in, use it on yogurts, use it on cheeses, use it on stuff like this, and it's basically like you're marinating your oysters in smoke. It doesn't need to be long, that smoke really kind of has a pungent flavor. These are cold smoked oysters. The oyster flavor is there and it's not overpowering. You can leave it in there longer to really get that smoke in. But what it is, is if I had it in there a little bit, just a tiny bit, and it's a raw oyster, so it really kind of takes on that flavor, there's just a little underlying element of that smoke. Shoot, man, that's how you cold smoke. If you like this, and you want to see other repurposed tools, click below. Just kidding, it's not, it's wood, it's wood, and that, that did not feel good. That did not feel good. Purchase. I'm gonna show you how to change your burners at home to concentrate heat for real walkery. We have our drill. We have metal shears. 